Welcome back. Judge Eileen Cannon postponing former President Trump's classified documents case. Now, this trial was supposed to begin on May 20th. Now it's unclear when it will actually start. And this decision comes after special counsel Jack Smith and federal prosecutors at the FBI admitted in a court filing that documents were tampered with. They seized documents during a Mar-a-Lago raid, and they are no longer in the original order and sequence. Trump's legal team says Smith's team had, quote, failed to preserve critical evidence in the case. Case. House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan now investigating whether evidence was altered or manipulated after it was seized by the FBI. I talked about this with former Director of National Intelligence John Ratcliffe on Sunday Morning Future. Sunday, watch. Did the FBI tamper with this? That, that famous photograph, what we have now learned, uh, and the government has had Jack Smith and his prosecutors uh, have had to admit is that that was staged, and those top-secret uh, classified sheets that all the public saw and said, oh, my God, look at those uh, top-secret documents, those were placed there by the FBI. And, uh, and, and what Jack Smith admitted in court this week was that, in his words, they mishandled the classified documents and misrepresented those to the court. Maria, that's a kind way of saying we tampered with the evidence. This reeks of crossfire hurricane when the Obama-Biden administration fabricated evidence before the FISA court, lied to the court about it uh, to pursue Donald Trump. Wow. Joining me now is Wisconsin Congressman Scott Fitzgerald, member of the House Judiciary and Financial Services Committee. Congressman, what can you tell us about this? Yeah, Maria, when we arrived in uh, D.C. on uh, Monday afternoon, Chairman Jordan briefed the, uh, the committee on basically, as it was laid out uh, by Radcliffe, uh, it's evidence uh, tampering. And uh, certainly uh, has prompted a letter that came directly from the chairman to uh, to once again lay out the case that this entire thing has uh, has really been compromised. So I think you know what you're looking at is uh, the uh, the entire thing obviously being delayed uh, beyond the uh, beyond the election, which is a huge victory for uh, President Trump at this point. Well, I mean, I, I don't understand that. So they just put, they laid everything out the way they wanted to lay it out and then took the pictures and leaked the pictures, sent them all over the Internet. Meanwhile, they had tampered with it? Right. I mean, if you, if you kind of uh, talk to staff who have been digging deeper into this right now, uh, a lot of what uh, was presented was, was obviously staged. And uh, it's just unbelievable that they would go to that length. And if you think about the full raid on Mar Lago, it, it, it's unbelievable kind of what has happened in, now, that we, now that we understand kind of the facts. Yeah. It, it really is. Uh, the House Judiciary Committee, meanwhile, planning to mark up a resolution next week to hold Attorney General Merrick Garland in contempt of Congress for refusing to hand over audio of former special counsel Robert Hur's interview with President Biden. So you and your colleagues have said that these recordings are crucial for the impeachment inquiry, but the DOJ is saying it's not relevant. Can you tell us why you believe it's relevant? Yeah, I mean, we had special counsel her in front of the committee, as you reported, and many other uh, news outlets reported. And, and the one thing we were looking for was, you know, we wanted to get a feel for the way the president handled a lot of the questions that he was asked. And uh, it was brought up that day when the special counsel was before the committee. And ever since then, we've been trying to get our hands on what DOJ has, which is an unredacted full interview. And uh, they have been stonewalling us all along. So again, I, I go back to Chairman Jordan, who's got his hands full right now. But uh, certainly, I think uh, the committee is going to move forward with contempt. Uh, now, we'll, we'll see what happens. Will they give us some unredacted, uh, you know, portions? We're not sure. But uh, yeah, I think uh, we're serious about it right now. Well, I mean, I know you're serious, but with all due respect, what does contempt mean? I mean, what, what is that really going to mean for A.G. Garland? I mean, a lot of this stuff going back and forth, I feel like the Republicans can't get it over the finish line. Like, where is the accountability in all of this? The FBI tampering with evidence, Trump and, and trial, all of these indictments. It's an election year. I mean, you know, people want to see some accountability here. What does contempt of Congress mean? Well, so far, I mean, the pattern has been we have to take it all the way to the limit before we actually are able to secure the materials. To be quite honest with you, I think if we move in this direction, uh, it will be the final kind of play 
that uh, will result in them giving us that tape. Uh, if they don't, I mean, it raises a whole other level of questions that need to be answered. But I, I think they'll comply. That's, that's my take on it right now. Okay, fair enough. Uh, meanwhile, uh, voters are noticing all of this, the lawfare, if you will, um, the, the DOJ's two different separate approaches to governance. President Biden will be back in Wisconsin today campaigning in Racine County talking about his so-called investing in America agenda. The trip comes exactly one week after former President Trump campaigned there, Wisconsin and Waukesha. Biden will also be in Chicago later. Congressman, your thoughts on, on this election and campaigning as President Trump spends most days in a courtroom and Joe Biden is out in, in swing states attacking Trump. Yeah, I mean, uh, Maria, it hits home for me right in the 5th Congressional District. I'm in those west suburbs of Milwaukee, which are absolutely going to be a target for the entire presidential election. We've got the convention coming to Milwaukee this summer. So it doesn't surprise me that President Biden's going to be in Racine today. Uh, I think you're going to see, like you said, President Trump was in Waukesha last week. I think that's going to continue all the way through November because it's critical. But if you piece together Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, I mean, I really think that President Trump's in a good position to win those states and ultimately win the presidency again. All right. We'll be watching all of that. Congressman, good to see you. Thanks so much, sir.